Good morning, everybody. It's Miss Kaylee here, teaching artist with CCT. I hope everyone's having a lovely start to the summer, and I'm excited to bring you some more projects. I'm just finishing my morning tea here. But wait, before I finish it, did you guys know that you can use tea and some other things that you can find around your house as paint? Huh, maybe I should tell you about that. Maybe while you've been at home so long, you've used up all of your paints. Or maybe you didn't have that many paints to begin with. Or maybe you're just bored and you'd like some new options. If so, this video is for you. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use some materials in your kitchen to create different colors of paint. After I show you some examples, you can go search your kitchen, see what you have, and with an adult's help, do some experimenting to see what kind of colors you can come up with. Let's get started. So let's start out with some easy options. Like I was saying before, you can use tea. Tea is nice because it gives you a variety of options. Each flavor has a slightly different color to it. Do some experimenting to see which color is your favorite. You could also use coffee. If you let the coffee steep for a little bit longer, or leave the grounds in there, then you can get a nice dark brown. Or if you take it out before it's fully ready, you'll have a nice light brown. So you'll get some variation there as well. Some other options are to use vegetables, boil them in some water or let them sit in some water and see what kind of colors they come up with. For this color, I don't know how well you can see it, but it's a nice dark red almost brownish. For this color, I cut up some beets and I boiled them in water. Now, I also use the beets to make a nice pink color. For this color, I just didn't boil the water. I let it sit in cold water and soak up that way. It takes a little bit longer, but the color is brighter. To get this nice blue color, I used purple cabbage. I boiled it in some water and let it sit, and this is what you get. You can try different liquids too. If you let it sit in a vinegar or something like that, you're gonna get a different color as well. To get a nice yellow, I didn't have any fresh turmeric, but I used some dried turmeric and mixed it with some hot water to get a really nice yellow color. I just made the basics because then I can mix them all together to create different colors but there are plenty of colors that you can make just using vegetables. Spinach, if you boil that with water, it makes a really nice green. And you can experiment with different fruits as well. Raspberries make a nice red color. Blueberries make a bluish purple color. You can see what kind of fruits and vegetables in your fridge make what kinds of colors. Make sure that if you're boiling water or cutting things up, that you have an adult's help. Now that you have your paints, you're almost ready to create. You'll also need a paintbrush. If you have a regular paintbrush, that'll work great. Otherwise, try a Q-tip or a sponge or use your imagination. What else could you use to get your paint from the bowl to your paper? Speaking of paper, I'm gonna be using a watercolor paper. It's a little bit thicker and so my paints won't bleed all over. If you don't have thicker paper, that's totally fine. You can use regular paper. Just be aware that because these are water-based paints, it might get a little crinkly, but that's okay. It can be part of your project. Here are some tips for working with your new paints. Remember, because these paints are highly water-based, they may show up lighter on your paper than you're used to. Don't be afraid to put multiple layers. You can also mix colors and see what new colors you can come up with. You can use a palette like this one, or just a plate to take some of each color and mix them together to see what they create. But remember, if you don't want to mix your colors, be sure to rinse your brush in water between every color, just like you would with normal paint. Also, be aware that because these paints are made with natural substances, they'll stain a lot easier than a regular paint. So make sure to put a protective layer over your workstation and your clothes and wipe up any spills that you might have with a rag. Now let's get painting. I've decided to paint my favorite subject, some flowers. 
As you can see, I'm making sure to put my brush in the paint for a long time so that it soaks up a lot of the color. This makes it so that it's more vivid on the paper. I'm starting with the color that I made from the beets. It's a nice pinkish purple color. Sometimes I needed to add another layer of paint to make the color darker. Now I'm switching to the color that I made with the cabbage. You'll see when I first put it on, it looks really purple, but as it dries, it becomes more blue. The next color I'm using is the yellow that I made with the turmeric. It's a nice bright color, so it doesn't take as many layers as some of the other ones. As I was painting, some of my colors mixed together because they were still wet. I liked the way it looked, so I left it. But make sure to let each color dry in between if you don't want them to mix together a little bit. Now I'm going to use my palette to mix some of the colors to make some new colors. I'm taking some of the pink from the beets and some of the yellow from the turmeric and making a nice orangey color. Next, I'm going to be mixing a green color to use for the stems of my flowers. I'm going to be using the bluish purple from the cabbage and the yellow from the turmeric. Now, as I said previously, the purple cabbage color starts very purple, but then dries more blue. So you'll see, first I mix them on my palette to get a nice color to start my lines. However, as I was painting it, I realized it was still more yellow than I wanted, and I wanted to make sure that that nice green came through. So, after I finished painting with the mixed color, I went back and added some more on top of the blue. This ensured that it dried to a nice green color. So you can mix your colors one of two ways. You can mix it on a separate palette or you can mix it right on your paper by painting over what you've already painted with a different color. For this last painting step, I decided to use my tea bag instead of a paintbrush to get a little more texture and wideness with my painting. It's a nice brown color for the background. I like the reddish tint that this tea gave it. And here's my finished painting. I used a black marker to define my flowers a little bit and add some texture. I really like the way the bright colors came out. I had to apply a few layers to the painting to get those colors, but I think they turned out really great. I can't wait to see what you create. I think that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed creating these paints and I'd love to see what you're making with them. Please send videos of you making them or pictures of what you've created to CCT so that we can see what you're up to. I hope you're having a wonderful summer and I can't wait to see you really soon. Bye-bye.